Why? And the I go and I say, I don't got time for the hate. I need more time in my day. I put an ice on my bay. Yeah, you riding on me? I get my drip up overseas. Niggas are hating on me. Yeah. How y'all doing, ladies and gentlemen? Peace and blessings upon all my Akis and all my sisters out there. Welcome to Split Decision. I'm your host, Aki. To my left is no other than Professor Nims, the pundit with the PhD in pugilism. Huh? You might want to say that again and put some more respect on your name for the ones that don't know because that's a professor mm -hmm. with a PhD degree three, three in real P. life. Pundit with the PhD in pugilism. Get it right. <laughs> <laughs> so I just want to clear things up. Um, I got in a car accident yesterday. You know, I had to ride away, but somebody from the side who had a stop sign, I guess he didn't see me coming. Just, and, just pay it forward. Yeah, like yeah. They say, as so they he, say he admitted it was his mistake. I believe he probably, you know, was under the influence of something, mm. you know, but it is what it is, you know. So I appreciate everybody for, you know, checking up on me, all my achis, all my achis, ox, whatever you want to call it, migo. I appreciate y'all for, you know, checking up on y'all brother. And for all the people that's calling me, Baby Arrow Spence Jr., you know what I'm saying? I just <laughs> want to clear up. I don't even drink, you know what I'm saying? And that's against my religion. So, you know, it's okay. Y'all can hate. I'm going to give y'all uh, more reasons to hate on me, you know what <laughs> I mean? So, y'all know what time it is. It's split decision time and time to educate all the casual fans. So, all the casual fans, it's a pleasure to have y'all here. We're going to teach y'all something new today. You live and you learn. Hopefully, I learn something new. And one day, hopefully, I will graduate from the IQ University and become hardcore boxing fans. So in the IQ University, we offer the book of the truth. And since people love to judge a book by its cover, we're going to paint a perfect picture for them. You know, and when y'all do take the time out of y'all day to read the book, Hopefully, y'all have a better chance of graduating. Now, in the IQ University, hey, we got class real is life in session. Right there. Class yeah. is in session, baby. Teaching for free. All you got to do is subscribe below if you're trying to get smarter by the minute. If you're trying to get dumber by the second, don't. And listen to these casual fans. Now, shout out to Dante. Salute. Shout out to DBN. Shout out to yeah. Dante for starting the new media, media. movement. Um, so, shout out to my brother. And let's get straight to it. But I want to give Canelo credit. I'm not on his payroll, but... Canelo was was asked about a fight with um, Jorge Masvidal, and then he was like, "Who the hell is that?" It's the guy from MMA who fought Nate Diaz, who beat Nate Diaz, and then Canelo was like, "I'm not even like I'm not gonna do that. Like I'm, that's not about legacy. Man, that's not gonna called, prove he, he anything." He said, "That's all about money." Canelo called out Woodley. Well, I'm saying I'm I'm just talking about this one case. Canelo was like, "That's all about well, money," a, I mean, and then I, it's a it's a farce. Okay. It's not a fight. It's a farce. Well, let me inform you on what Canelo said. Canelo said Floyd Mayweather, you know, he embarrassed him boxing in a way because he need to fight a young gun with skill. That's a boxer. Now, like you don't I need said, to fight at all. like like <laughs> like he don't need a fight at all. That's like you said. But it's, this is why Canelo sound like a hater because he talking about why he fighting Conor McGregor. Let me give you 1,000 reasons why. First reason, uh, he made in, in one fight, <laughs> he made more money or almost as much money you making for your whole contract for the zone. The he zone. made $350 million in one night. Fighting a BS fight, you out a here, BS you know what I'm saying? Right. You fighting 11 fights for one fight of Floyd. So that's the main it reason. It is, but like... But hold on, let, let me finish okay. my reasons. And then let me, let, me, yeah. let me retort. Second reason, you called out Conor McGregor. It was Canelo Alvarez that called out Con Conor, said he would love to fight him in the boxing ring. Oh, as soon as Floyd Mayweather get it, because he got the persona and the trash talk, because Conor McGregor, what the hell he going to say to Canelo? Canelo ain't going to be able to talk back, and he's in his prime. Floyd is That's old. That's a good point. Right? You called out Ke Conor McGregor, but you bashing Floyd for the same thing you did? And then we could say, oh, okay, it is what it is. Even your promoter did that. And matter of fact, you caught out Woodley after the Kovalev fight. How you call out? He did. Yeah, the Wood, bro, Woodley. You know who Woodley? Is? I, I, I know. He Woodley. lost. I know. Uh, he not even a champion no more. That's no, the he, bad part. He, he lost to Usman. Like and I Usman is a good fighter. Usman but I'm is. saying, why would you call out Woodley? And now you bash Floyd. Why are you calling out any of them? Yeah, people? why would you even call him out? It makes him look bad, just like Keith Thurman. Keith Thurman was ducking Errol Spence, but calling out Conor McGregor. Hmm. Like I thought you had an injury. <laughs> <laughs> you know that's my problem with these fighters that bash Floyd. Like I, I, don't, I, I respect you. I, you could have your own opinion, Canelo. But why are you bashing a guy 
for doing something you want to do because you calling out Woodley. You calling out Connor. So you sound like a hypocrite to me. You sound like a hater for hating on Floyd for making, for making more money than you do. And the last reason, you talking about Floyd Mayweather need to fight young guns. When Floyd Mayweather was 37, he beat you when you was 23. You was a young gun. And he beat you like you stole something. <laughs> but you're going to tell him to, to what to do? The same guy that beat you? How about you fight Andre and Charlo, like I've been saying and preaching <laughs> for the past five years, the same guys you've been ducking for five years, that, Ch that Chavez, Morales, um, all these legendary fighters from your own country, your people, they want you to fight these guys, but you choose to call out Woodley instead and bash Floyd and want a rematch. Like, why you want to fight a 43-year-old version of Floyd? Like, come on, man. How about fight Charlo and Andre? So, you know, you could finish your point. My bad. I just had to get that out of the way. Well, I was going to say that. No, that's – you brought up some good points. I think in the end that the people who lose out are the fans. It's not them because they're going to make a lot of money in those oh, yeah, situations when they out. do those. Things. But when we – when those are the things that get the most promotion and that people are putting up to say that this is what boxing is right now at this height, that is that is that doesn't reflect well upon us. I don't like those kind of cross discipline uh, fights. If you either you in in, um, in MMA or you in fight, or it's just like these are different sports. Like they have some of the same attributes, but these are different sports, and you can't take somebody who's basically an amateur fighter, Conor McGregor, and then put them in. With the goat of our generation. <laughs> listen, listen. We, I, I agree and disagree with that because I believe it's more than just the fans that's losing. Let me explain mm. why. Canelo is losing. The reason why Floyd Mayweather is able to come back to the boxing game and steal $300 million, <laughs> that the fighters that are active today could have grabbed it, is because the best aren't fighting the best. We not seeing the best fight the best. If we would have saw Wilder versus AJ, if AJ wasn't ducking Wilder, Floyd Mayweather wouldn't have a say so like he does. If Canelo fights the Charlo, the Andre, growing his brand, mm -hmm. he, he Floyd Mayweather wouldn't have the say so. So it's the fighter's fault as well. Like for, for example, Canelo Alvarez, since he been with the Zone, his popularity went down. Yeah, because when he fought uh, Gennady Golovkin on HBO the first time. They did 1.1 million pay-per-view buys. The second time they fought, they did close to a million. So it went down. Then when he signed to the zone, every time he fought, the ratings went down. The last fight when he fought Kovalev, I told you he only sold he sold his la his lowest amount of seats to well, this day. Seats, though, I, I, and and views. What was the viewers? And the zone didn't even want to release him. Now, okay. if you have a basketball, like for example, basketball after every game, every player like Kobe. When he shoot threes, right? If he be, if that's his highest score, yeah, they will release it, right? Mm. But and the zone, oh, it's, it's not going to be the example, highest. It's, yeah, it's the, I'm saying, it's, yeah. and, and but at the same time, if is if it's growing, like yeah. if the zone, if that the, the numbers are growing, oh, they will release it next day. But they not releasing it because the only number we know is when he fought Jacob, and that was six hundred and sixty thousand views in the U.S. Which oh, in is, the U.S. Which mm. is like, eh. That's, and, that is. Mm. And, 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 and now, when he fought Kovalev, they didn't even want to release them numbers. So, like I said, Canelo popularity keep going down. And that's why Floyd Mayweather keep coming back to the game stealing more money. Yeah, because right. if he fighting Charlo and Andre and the best, I promise you, Floyd Mayweather, and this is not just Canelo. I'm saying Lomachenko, anybody. All the fighters need to fight each other. Because yeah. that way... A guy like Floyd, y'all could complain about him, but that's why he taking y'all money. Because y'all ain't fighting. Floyd Mayweather, for decades, he was fighting the best when he was pretty boy Floyd. Till he got there to where he at, then he became strategic, fighting twice a year only, maximizing the pay-per-view buys because he didn't want his fans to pay too much money. But he always fought fighters coming off their biggest win. Always grew in popularity. So that's what Canelo needed to take notes from Floyd instead of bashing him. How about take notes what Floyd made with the blueprint? Because Canelo is not growing. He only got his fans and his fans only. Because he's not taking meaningful fights. He, but might, he might be a little stagnant right so, now. But I, I, I think that he he's still young. He has a window. I think he's going to let these 
this is my thoughts. I think he's going to let these young guns get a little wear and tear on them. I don't think that he'll do that well against, uh, in far as numbers wise, against Andre Charlo. Yes, because they can they they can build a promotion around that. Charlo's going to talk junk. He's got the uh, kind of hip hop community and stuff. But with with Andre, I I, I don't think that's going to do the, too well. See, the reason why I think the Andre fight is a big fight too is because it's a dangerous fight. Yeah, it's definitely every time dang- a yeah, danger the- in there, the fight will sell. Like, for example, people were saying Lara is not more popular than Angulo. As soon as he fought Lara, that he did his best numbers after the Floyd fight. You know what I'm saying? So That's if you have a dangerous fighter, like all these people, like, you know how Canelo fans going to be watching because they're going to be like, oh, that's the Andre guy that everybody keeps saying he ducking. Andre fans going to be watching. A lot of boxing fans going to be intriguing on, on this matchup in particular. So yeah. sometimes it's the fact that, okay, the reason why Canelo versus Kovalev was in a big fight it's because people knew that Kovalev had me, had too many disadvantages, and that's why he keep co- co- coming out bashing Canelo, saying, "You oh you know you don't know ish about boxing if you thought I could win that fight." Because people did did feel that way because leading up to the fight. Canelo had all the advantages, so not just that Kovalev on his way out, and it's just no hype for the fight. You see how much we hype for the Ruiz AJ fight? Like, oh, what's gonna happen? Curiosity sells fights. Yeah. When you know what's about to happen, that's not going to sell the fight. But hopping to the next topic, I just want to touch on this real quick. Errol Spence hints at uh, 2020 return. You know, it was a great episode today. Absolutely. Um, split decision. We will go live soon, either ne- this week coming up or the week after. And we sure going to go live during the fight between yeah, yeah, Luis yeah. and AJ, so be on the lookout and for that's that. that's going to be early, so just, so just a reminder, that fight is at 3 p.m. Yeah, so US that fight time. is early. Don't, we're going to go live at 2. We're going to cover all the fights live. We're going to commentate and give you our two cents because obviously there's a lot of biased commentary, and the referee, I don't know who he is. They brought him out the mud out of nowhere. <laughs> and, you know, AJ is definitely the A-side, so we'll see if he's yeah, able is. to use his advantages, not just physically, but even promotionally, to win the fight. So that being said, uh, appreciate Professor Nan. We had a great episode today. Um, we actually were supposed to have settled the score, but ain't nothing to settle with the Lomachenko situation because Lomachenko, we had our disagreement, right? Mm. But even if we go by what you said and your logic that, okay, it was the WBC that gave him the, 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 the belt, mm-hmm. why will Lomachenko accept it? You know what I'm saying? Like, why will Lomachenko say, Yes, I'm gonna give you 10% of my money instead of 2%. And I'm gonna take a belt that's not a championship or a title. Mm-hmm. It just doesn't make sense. And what make it worse, every time he fought a Corolla, every time he fought uh, a guy like that's not known, he didn't question oh, well, who they fought. When it's Devin Haney, he's questioning who he fought. He's not questioning, like when Salido gave him the opportunity to be great, he's not trying to do that to Devin Haney when Devin Haney earned his stripe to be mm-hmm. in that position. But Salido, Obviously gave him the, the shot. He got another shot versus Gary Russell. But at the end of the it, day... It, it sound like, you sound like you're trying to settle the score, though. I, I will go ahead. Oh, no, no, it. but I'm just I, saying, like, <laughs> I don't know what we're going to talk nah, about. It's because, all good. It's all good. Because at the end of the day, it's like, it's like Lomachenko, it made himself... He make himself look bad when he accepted it. Even, it even, is, even if the WBC gave it to him. Like, yeah. let's say that, okay, like I told you, it's the argument of the chicken or egg. Who came first? first the yeah. WBC is the egg. Lomachenko, the chicken. But it ain't even about that. Let's say the WBC gave him the, the belt. Why would you accept a belt that's not a championship, that's not a title, and give up 10% of your purse? It doesn't make sense to me. Like, it, it's not a quality of a champion. Deontay Wilder didn't do that, and he got, you know, 10 title defenses now. He is super champion, really, if you want to call him he that. Is. So, anyways, he earned your stripe. Champion he, Emeritus. He, Wilder earned his stripe like you earned your stripe to be a professor. You've been you've been in this game for too long, Professor Nim. Not only that teaching, though, but I, I, I you've been I, teaching. I, hey, I Professor my... Nim can't get fired. <laughs> I, I'm just throwing <laughs> out there. I don't care what you say about him. He in the school, he could. <laughs> we we cut that out. We cut that out. But I'm saying we like, try to get our sponsors Wilder right. Wilder earned his stripe by defending his title ten times. Professor Nim earned his stripe by teaching for more for almost ten years, so he can't get fired. You know what I mean? So credit to him. Lomachenko didn't earn his deck, stripe. Too. Canelo didn't earn his stripe. It's all I'm worth saying. You with Deontay Wilder, you belong in that bracket. Lomachenko and Canelo belong in the other bracket. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. They're over there somewhere 
you over there somewhere. So that's. I, I mean, they're on the hope list. We we understand that we people understand who, who that. know about the nuances. We understand that. And yeah. obviously, we can't wait for fight night. I can't we'll wait every see time. See y'all, I'm December split the seventh. Well, it'll be there. Plug in. We're trying to get. 20,000, 20,000 views, 20, what, 20, 30,000? What are we trying yeah, to get? Yeah, yeah, we're trying to get 100. Like this, Stop, because we keep it 100, so we got to get 100. Yeah, 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 hey, you, and we obviously got a new host, so, you know, yes, we got uh, we got, we got a little eye We're going to step up. Yeah, we got you know, a little eye candy. We're going to go live and all that, so we definitely stepping up the production game. Y'all keep tuning in. Like, Give us a little bit of time, and we really going to build this show up. We appreciate all the comments. All the comments, good and bad. I love when they're substantive, when y'all give good arguments and we joke around a lot and stuff. Yeah. I do want to so, say. Y'all got to get our humor. Like. Yeah, yeah. I Sometimes say, we be intense. Sometimes. It is, you know though. It's all, it's all respect, though. Yeah. Recognize something serious. Somebody that's no longer with us. Uh, I want to give it out to Mo Fire. I don't know. I just, I, I think I bodied him one time Ooh, yeah. on like, there was, it was, a, it was a commenter. Oh, and I body yeah. him and up and then just like we lost him, man. man I thought you said Mosafa for a second. But, uh, man, I thought you watched Mo the fire. Little <laughs> but anyways, if you are Lions only, if you are Canelo only, if you Duck Season only, whoever you is, subscribe below. <laughs> if you're trying to get smarter by the minute, if you're trying to get dumber by the second, don't and listen to these casual fans. And peace, Professor Nair. You know this is my favorite time of the week, huh? Why? And that I gonna say.